Hey everybody, it is Margaret and welcome to the Sunday chat. This is where I come on and catch up with what's been going on during the last week and talk about what's coming up this week and yeah, sometimes I have a haul and today I do. And so uh, yeah, anyway, I've got some talking points, but let me say hello to everybody. At the moment, we've got Melissa over in the chat. Hello, Melissa. Uh, so I don't know if things are catching up or what's going on, but anyway, hello everybody. How's it going? And yeah, okay. So before I get started, oh, there everybody is. I was like, wait a minute, where is everybody? There they are. Um, so before I jump into everything else, I just want to say thank you so much for all the wonderful birthday wishes. Uh, my birthday was Friday, and I, I got some really, okay, Sherry sent me an awesome mug. She knows me. She's like, this is just the box for it. So she sent me this Harry Potter uh, mug, and it's in the shape of a cauldron. Look, look how awesome that is. It's this Harry Potter cauldron mug, like so. Um, but I, I'm, I'm not sure I can drink out of it. What I'm going to do probably is it'll probably end up back here and I'll put stuff in it because it's like too cool, right? I'm, I'm like so nervous I'll drop it or something because knowing me, I would. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to put this. I'll find a spot back here to put and put stuff. Um, so thank you, Sherry, for that very, very, very much. And then Leslie sent me. This is Leslie Narvison. Um, I'm not sure I'm saying that correctly, but Leslie sent me an awesome card in a gift card to Starbucks. So that really uh, made my day for sure. So she, this card says, my dentist told me I need a crown. I was like, I know, right? <laughs> yeah. And then she wrote a really nice bit inside. So thank you so much um, for the, it really did brighten my day and I appreciate it very, very much. Okay. Let me go say hello in the chat real fast and then I'll jump into my my list of stuff to talk about today. Hello, Debbie. Hi, Doc Doodledoo. Hello, Nevada. Hi, Darren. <laughs> hello, hello, uh, Linda's Rocky Mountain and Anchor and Owl Supply. Hi, Gloria from sunny Scotland. Is it sunny today? It's raining here, or it was. Now the devil's beating his wife, or, or so they say in the South, if you know what that means. Um, anyway, <laughs> hi, everyone. Uh, hi, Gloria, Donna, hello. Hi, it's Kathy, but it says Randy, but it's Kathy. Hi, uh, has the show started? Is it not starting? Hi, everyone. Hi, Debbie. Hi, Leslie. Julie Thrifty Paper Garden and Debbie Porter. Hello, Paula and Fran and Teresa. I know it sounds like romper room and I get these, but you know what? I like saying hi to everybody. This is why I do this because my friends come and say hello. <laughs> hi, Kathleen. Oh, thank you. She says happy belated birthday. Uh, hello, Tina and Melissa. <laughs> it's time for a brew, right? Isn't it cool? Um, Let's see. That's my license plate. Darren says, what's your license plate? Uh-oh, I missed it. Hello, Kristen's Curiosities. And, oh, I pronounced her good. Great, great. Thank you, Leslie, so much. I got, let's see, what did I get? I went and got a um, Frappuccino, which is something I don't allow myself very often, is those Frappuccinos. And then they've got this new protein box that's got, like, eggs and cheese and fruit in it. Um, so it was a real treat, for sure. I think there's, like, a couple bucks left, so I'll have to go again. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, Darren says, that's a good card, isn't it? I loved it. Yeah, it really made my day. Darren says, just had a pedicure. Hey, Duffer Cat. Let's see. Send through. Yes, Anchor House of Play. You got it. Because <laughs> I said, if you know what the devil's beating his wife means. Yeah, it's when it's sun, sunny, but it's also raining. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Okay. All righty. So, um, let me just say, okay, so um, the next thing I have is apologies for not responding to questions yet. I have some emails and some comments on videos and stuff. I haven't been able to comment back yet. And I've had a couple of people request um, to buy stuff from a whole video. And I, I haven't, I'm not ignoring anybody. I just haven't gotten there yet because it's been, one, it's been my birthday. And two, it's been craziness because it just has been. Thank you, Caramel. Thank you. Hello, Michelle. Hello. Okay, so um, I did want to talk about something because I, I put in the title, okay, of the video still, I'm um, like going working through tough times, right? And the reason is, is that I, I it's still hard, right? And I, and I wanted to talk about it. And I was kind of like, my gut was kind of wrenched about like, do I talk about it again? You know, or just kind of where, where we are in the process. And then I opened my Twitter feed to share um, that I was going to be going live soon, and let me show you what, what what the first thing that popped up in my Twitter feed was. The very first thing, this popped up first in my Twitter feed, 
and it's this I, I love TED Talks so this is a TED Talk by um, I'm gonna butcher his name Sangu Delhi uh, it says being honest about how we feel doesn't make us weak it makes us human there's no shame in taking care of your mental health right so he he's talked I haven't listened to this TED Talk yet but he had to, to confront his own uh, deep prejudice you know that men shouldn't take care of their mental health so anyway when I saw that I was like okay all of the qualms I had about sharing like where we are um, kind of went out the window because it because uh, and to preface it all things are okay you know so it's not like I'm here with doom and gloom but I think it's important um, especially because not a, not a lot of people talk too much about it and especially you know marriage is hard it's hard um, so like I'm not gonna go into lots of details again like I say but um, I did want to share kind of where we are in in our process because it's hard so we will be have mar been married 14 years this year right so we're like next week or something it's this month um, so let's see where I go okay like I said I have mi mixed reactions about you know sharing before but overall people were um, receptive and I and I think it's really important for for it to be heard because some people might be going through it and just from the outside looking in think that you know oh everything looks really good over there but it's always a process you know I mean we've been through really hard times before and we've come through them and I think that's kind of what's helped like knowing that we've been through bad times before and come through them it's kind of what is helping me make it through this one Kristen says been married 20 years definitely highs and lows yeah um so let me let me go right to my little my notes or else I'll just start veering off into who knows where um, okay so apologies if I tear up because it's still really a, a tender subject um, because it's you know it's a work in progress trying to like piece things back together like when things fall apart like trying to get the pieces like stuck back together and they don't they're not going back the same way because after a big conflict it's like things have changed the pieces aren't the same anymore and so you've got to figure out how the, the some extent my analogy of a puzzle trying to get it back together after it's like somebody dumped some water on it and now the pieces are all warped or something you know what I mean like trying to figure out a new way to put this puzzle back together um, thanks Darren yeah and it's okay I mean it's okay right it's it's reality right he says I'm sorry to hear you're having issues it, and it, it's and that's where I have to be like it's reality right and it would be unrealistic of me to expect that there would never be any issues in my marriage and it would be smooth sailing forever, right? Um, so, okay, like I said, let me get back to my notes or I will for sure whoosh off onto a, a tangent of something else. Um, so, yeah, okay, so marriage isn't easy, especially when you have kids because there's a whole other aspect of thinking about, I mean, even just discussing things. You can't just start talking about stuff because your kids are sitting right there, right? So just having to like, Restrain yourself until like when you just shake your alone that kind of thing like let's go in the other room You know like anyway, um, but there is a lot of stuff a lot of good things going on So and um, basically it's like you have to grow up like I, I feel like It's a growing process for both of us. I feel like we're both Each time not that this is a good thing, but you try to find the silver lining you try to find the good things in the shit storm <laughs> is that what you're to say but like Okay, where's you got to start looking for the good things to latch on to, you know, to get you through. Um, so there is a lot of good stuff going on, um, personal growth wise. Like for me, being able to step away from my anger and recognize that there is good stuff going on. Because when I sometimes get angry or hurt, it's like I am just a ball of anger and I'm just a ball of hurt. And it's really challenging to say okay take that put that here and then like let's look at everything else you know and, and it's just my nature I don't know if that's for everybody but my personal nature um, when it happens uh, yeah that happens so I'm um, stepping away from my anger and my hurt to realize that that at least at least he's working with me so I know in that with the video I, I deleted I was talking like we were at that point where I was like that's it over done right um, but just for me being able to get to the point where I'm like okay look Margaret you got a guy who is a hard worker and he 
is at least willing to recognize that there's a problem and that he's at least willing to recognize that he's willing to work through it. He's willing to, you know what I mean? And that, and that to me, like once I got to that point where I realized, okay, that's huge because a lot, not, not everybody's like that. Not ever. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have that in every partner if I decided, Oh, that's it. I'm done. Right. Um, that's not something I think a lot of people, you know, so uh, just for me, recognizing that that's huge, that at least, you know, we have that workability together where it's like, okay, we're willing to, we're at least willing to try and figure it out. Right. Um, so anyway, I, I just said, you know, that, that was more than a lot of strained marriages could, could count on. Um, and knowing that we really come through some hard times together and it's just really, it's hard when you're going through it. So yeah. Um, so just, I had to take a hard look at pros and cons and the fact that, you know, we're willing to listen to each other, um, kind of helps move, move things forward. So that's kind of, that's what I wanted to share a little bit today. Cause, cause it is, we're still, you know, things are still like a work in progress right now. So again, if I'm not like super chipper, cause we're riding this roller coaster of trying to, <laughs> I'm going to mix horrible metaphors, you know, if they are even like roll, riding this roller coaster of putting this warped wooden puzzle back together, <laughs> but it'll be awesome when it's done. Right. So anyway, that's, that's that. So, okay. The dramatic part is over. If that was bothering you. So. All right. So let me, let me go read in the chat. Um, yeah. Uh, thank you so much, Mildred. Um, hi, Glenn Swamp Picker, anchor and Al supply married 20 years. And it seems once you get through the process, it can make you closer. Yeah. And Nevada says like the Hogwarts staircase is changing. Oh, for sure. All the time, you know, and then that, and all of a sudden it's like the girl's dormitory in Hogwarts the girls dormitory the boys try to go up there it turns into this like slide and they slide back down so like Whoa, sliding down okay anyway um <laughs> yeah so darren says i enjoyed your personality couldn't see you having a bad day i promise it happens um let's see debbie says constantly changing is the best way to grow and stay strong thanks and paula says 24 year 24th anniversary this year we still have ups and downs oh well, I mean, I'm congratulations, and I'm glad to hear it's, you know, it is, it is going to, you know, it's just normal. It's just normal. Hey, Cherie Johnson. Hello, hello. Um, Darren says, you and your husband seem like a well-laid-back couple. I hope the best for you. Thanks. And and it will. I mean, like I say, it's it's on the, the better end of the mending side. You know what I mean? So that's good. Um, Paula says, I'm slow, but hot tempered. When I get there, it's not nice. Yeah. See, that's the thing too. Like, and I'm not, I can't hold it in. I'm not one of those people that stays mad and stays quiet. And like, you don't realize it till you're like, wait a minute, what's going on? I, no. And I can't hold on to it very long either. Like I'm one of those, let's get it done. Let's just talk it out, get it out of the way. And then we can move forward. Like I just rather have like a done. Okay. You know what I mean? So and then I'm done, right? And then we don't have to talk about it. And then there's no like little mean I'm putting salt in your cereal or any weirdness like that. Not that I would ever do. That. You know what I mean? But uh, anyway, I don't. I don't like to hold on to things. You know, just do it. <laughs> done. Right. Um. <laughs> okay. Hello, Judy Lemonworth. Hello, hello. Um. Linda says, oh my gosh, you said something and woke up Siri on my phone. That happens to me sometimes too, but mine didn't wake up this time. Yeah. Okay. There we go. After these kind of bumps in the road, you find a new normal in your marriage. And my new normal just got a king size bed. So I'm excited. <laughs> I've been wanting a king size bed forever. Um, and it's going to be delivered today. <laughs> There's another perk. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I have. I don't know. I, I got two boys that still climb into bed, you know, and we all want to cuddle down and watch TV together and or too squished in a queen size bed. So anyway, there's that. Okay, so that's that. Um oh, thank you so much, Elise. Um, oh, am I saying your name right? Elsie. Elsie, yeah, Elsie Creek. She says, you're a joyful person. You make YouTube a better place. Never heard a negative thing from you about anyone else. Did you hear what I said about my husband? I'm kidding. <laughs> well, let me just tell you. <laughs> gallery furniture saves you money. Uh, yeah, but I didn't go to gallery furniture. We went to another place. 
I'm so excited about it. I really am. <laughs> I never, like, I'm so, like, as a kid, like, when are you excited about getting a new bed? Like, well, Mikey, he got his race car bed, so that made him excited. And James is getting our queen size bed, so he's excited. So I guess, I guess you do get excited about a bed when you're a kid. Okay, so, all right, merch. Let's talk about my merch stuff. So, and I know I probably talked about this in another video, but I, you know, I'm at the 30 tier or where I can upload 30 shirts a day. And I was trying up until like two or three days ago, trying to make sure I got those 30 shirts up uh, every single day, which meant that I was listing zero on eBay and Etsy because there was just no time. Um, and so then I talked to Glenn Zubia and I talked to Mike, who's the treasure gnome. Glenn is Hustler Hacks. Pardon me. If you're looking for other YouTubers that do merch stuff, those are two that are good ones to check out. Pardon me. Um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. I talked to them because they're both on like 4,000 or 6,000 here. Like, how are you doing it? Because they're still putting out their like eBay numbers and things. And they both said, no, no, no. You cannot try to upload that many every single day. You know, you've got to really focus more on quality, you know. And, and like, not that I'm throwing up junk, but just... It took all day, like really. Um, so I kind of took a break. That gave me like such a license of just to not um, that I didn't upload anything for the last two days at all, right? So that was kind of nice. And yeah, so just kind of taking a break. I'll probably try to get a couple shirts up today, but I mean, I think I'm gonna really maybe work on getting maybe 10 up a day. We'll see how it goes because I'm still buying stuff for eBay. And I remember how I went through my room not long ago and like gutted it out and like started over. Well, it's starting to <laughs> go piled up again and I have some more stuff to share today too. So, so we got to get on that listing, right? We got to get on that listing. Um, Anchor and Al Supply says, you're doing your boys a huge benefit by working on your marriage. Right. And that's, and that's something I talked to Randy about too. I said, you know, we've got to, sh we are the example for our children. Like we, we are setting the example about how we are wanting them to be as an adult. Right. I know we're getting off back on the other topic, but, but it's true. Like, and I, and that's one of the points I said, look at the way I'm treating you and look at the way you're treating me. Would you want your child's spouse? To behave that way would you want your child to behave the way you're behaving you know so just yeah so just really trying to be more mindful of that you know because they really they just watch it all they do um linda said i was excited as a kid when i got my water bed oh water beds my brother had a water bed i never had a water bed anyway so this week um, I'm getting back to listing again. Yay. And it's going to be a crazy week too. So, cause it is technically not the last week of school, but it's the last week of school. The kids have got, I mean, I've got to be up at the school every day for one thing or another field days and a volunteer breakfast and you know, it's something every single day. Uh, and then, so next week the boys have a day and a half and then we're done. <gasps> we're done. And it's summertime. And then the real craziness happens, right? Okay, now, is that it? Oh, no, oh, oops, I forgot to talk about Merch Talk is moving. So we haven't done our Merch Talk, it's supposed to be Wednesdays. In the last two weeks, there, were, there have just been so many conflicts. And then now that summertime is coming, I told the guys, like, I don't think I can do Wednesday at noon anymore. So I think we're going to move it to Monday. And it's probably going to be either one or two. And I've talked to Chris Avalos, who is Thrift Shop Hustler about coming on too more because that it gives us a good mix I think you know because Jeff comes from uh, places of doing other print on demand stuff and Joe is you know like I think he's at the 500 tier and he's got all these great ideas and then there's me that just kind of all over the place and then Chris is newer I mean he's on a lower so it's like I think it gives a good mix of where everybody's at you know what I mean so oh yeah anyway so, um, Penny says, I'm glad you're so open with your life. You're an inspiration to us all. Thanks so much. Uh, and I know some people are like, don't share. So there's things I won't share. Like I don't share my children. I'm not down with that, but I think, I think it's helpful when you feel not so alone. Right. I mean, I, I have had a lot of people say, you know, when I talk about 
the low times and the, the struggles. Because, yes, I mean, we are a very isolated, we're a very isolated tribe of people that are spread across the world. Our tribes are not connected in one spot, you know, if that makes sense. I mean, as resellers and, or, you know, stay-at-home moms or self-employed people. Hmm. Anyway, Darren says, I got an awesome Lego clearance haul the other day from Walmart. Whoa, that's awesome. I love Lego. I really do. Um, okay. Uh, and I talked already about moving all my stuff back over to this channel. So there was like a big dump the other day where I put, I just like, that's it. I was going to spread it out. And I was like, why? Why? I just going to put it all over here. Just do it. So um, Darren says, I like when you share cat videos. <laughs> I need to get another video of Pancake playing fetch. I really do. And he cheers me up. Like that cat, he's a big snuggler. And then he'll bring his little baby and he wants to play fetch. So that, that always cheers me up. Pancake is a, is a real delight. Um, okay, let's see. So I've got some more unboxings coming up. Nevada says she's missed the merch talks. Yeah, me too. I don't miss talking to the guys. So for sure they are coming back. And I've got some um, like tutorials because Pink Monkey now can do curved text. So I'm super excited about that. And then my sister is getting started. And so there's that too. And we got to get her going on a YouTube channel, y'all. She keeps doing crazy stuff with these dang bees. <laughs> and I'm like, did you record it? And she's like, no. I'm like, oh. <laughs> yeah, anyway. Um, so I've got some unboxings coming. As you can see back here, I've got some stuff. I got some Harry Potter stuff to unbox. I got my Ipsy and my Sephora. And that's my Wizarding World box that I need to unbox. I got my egg cuber that I still haven't done. Okay, so I've got plenty to work on. <laughs> over there with my uh unboxings and fun videos and stuff uh, is it almost over not yet i still have to do the whole part your sister does reselling she's trying to get into it she has gotten to where she's taking pictures of stuff like she likes to go to the thrift stores she went to one and they had cufflinks and she was like oh i was gonna get some cufflinks they were like seven bucks a pair is that good i'm like no 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 like a buck maybe a buck or so unless they're awesome then like maybe more but she picked up a couple things. You know, I'm trying to get, I told her, start small and start cheap. You know, if you pick it up for 50 cents, because she's still learning, like, what's going to sell. And, you know, is she going to be, like, does she need it to sell fast or slow? Or So she picked up a couple things. Yeah. And we're going to go out there next next week, I guess. So not this Thursday, but the next Thursday. So we'll have some, maybe I'll get some footage from her property out there in Kerrville. Uh, am I going to do a Harry Potter blind bag video? Yes, I will. And what I need to do is I have one that my boys, my boys and I actually recorded one together, but you can't see them. They're like standing here outside of the, so you hear them talking and you see them throwing things at each other. <laughs> so I just have to do that one first because I've already unboxed. There's like five, like five little Harry Potter figures. And then I'm going to do those. Yeah. Um, Bits Bits says, my eBay has died, not just slowed down, but somebody took it out back and shot it. <laughs> uh, mine's been okay, but I am running a sale, so maybe maybe that's, I mean, for me, it's okay. It's not, like, uh, outstanding. I've had some sales, so for me, that's pretty good since I haven't been listing. Um, oh, my gosh, Elsie, I saw that. If you're not in the jewelry lovers and sellers group, did you post it there in iLot? Elsie found this Brighton tin for 25 cents and it had like all this really good stuff in it. I mean, bracelets and charms and yeah, it's really, really good. Um, yeah. And Darren says, I only f find good money flips now. No more $1 for $10 sale profit, profiting five. Yeah. I mean, and unfortunately some of my scores are not so much scores. I think I was emotionally buying stuff the other day because I bought some board games and I'm not supposed to buy board games anymore. What happened to me? Um, Elsie says she posted in Jewelry Lovers. Oh, and in the tin there was a dime. So really she only paid 15 cents for it, <laughs> right? That's so cool. That Those are the best, right? I love that. I love that. Okay, so is that it? Is that it? Oh, oh, oh. And I was going to say, I have, because of all this craziness with scheduling the kids and all the summer stuff going on and I've jumped on the happy planner bandwagon so I have my happy planner now we'll see how it goes if I can keep it up um <laughs> okay so let's share the 
call. Is that it? Is that all I've got in my notes? Yes, 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 yes. Hello, Amelia. How are you? Okay, so haul video and engage. So some of this honest to goodness might end up going back and just getting redonated. The the game, so one of the games I got was called Capture, and they had some other like Stratego type games, Penta and things like that. And so I thought you know, because it was so cheap. It was a buck a game for the board games. And I thought it was just like going to be one of those really cool games. No, it was like an educational game, like with syllables and stuff. I was like, oh gosh, this is going to redonate. And then I got pirate. Hang on, let me reach down and grab them. Peace sign. I'm giving you the peace sign. Reaching, reaching. Up, 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 up. Okay. I have nowhere to put this, so I'm going to have to hold it here. So I thought this was going to be cool. Well, I mean, it is cool, but I thought it would be worth more. So the board games were a dollar. Yeah. So this one's called Notability, and you put a little battery in that little piano, and you play out, it, you tap the tune out, and the person has to guess what the tune is. I was like, that sounds pretty cool. I've never seen this game before, but it wasn't selling for that much, so that's a dud. And then this game I grabbed, Pirate and Traveler, because my mom had been talking about this game forever, and she finally went and bought it at... Um, she bought it off of eBay. Where, where's that place that you buy stuff? I can't think of what it's called. Um, she went and bought it off eBay, and then what happens? I find it at a garage sale. Pirate and Traveler. So again, and that one's not really selling. I'm sorry I keep wobbling the table. Let me try to move back a little bit. Um, yeah. <laughs> Turn Red Dragon says, I saw your last video. First time I've seen you stand. <laughs> Watch some of my older ones. There's, I did some cooking videos where I'm standing up. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Nevada says I got her. She said I got my daughter a happy planner. She's ignoring it completely. Oh dear. Um. Oh, I saw that, Melissa. She says there was an article on my Google feed about how eBay is letting its sellers down by not dealing with scamming buyers. Yeah, I I saw that article too. So. Okay. So next up, I'm trying to think of which way to go. So I'll show you the rest of my duds, which I'm surprised are duds. So at this other garage sale, I got some ornaments, and they were two bucks. So I got these Teletubbies, but they're not really going. I mean, for, I paid two bucks for them, and they're going for maybe ten bucks a piece. So I'm really disappointed in you, Teletubbies. Um, <laughs> so there's that. And now I have to decide: like, is it worth me listing them? I bought them for two bucks. Pardon me, my thing is slipping. Ladies, you know what I'm talking about. And then, yeah. And then also, not as awesome as I thought, were these, um, they're Disney Christmas Magic. And I picked up the ones that were Beauty and the Beast one. So there's the Beast. There were two Beasts and one Beauty. And then I also got a Little Mermaid one. And they were, again, two bucks a piece. And they really weren't going for that much either. And I thought for sure with Beauty and the Beast out right now that they would have been doing better. Hang on, let me pull up my screen share so I can show you. I was very disappointed, but I don't know. I just, and it's not the normal thing I buy. So anyway, see, this is the Teletubbies. Look, all of that for $9.99. Oh, brother, right? Four of them for 30 bucks. That would have been okay. But then, yeah. I mean, I guess I'll list them. Maybe. Um, and then the Christmas Magic. Here's sold Beast, seven bucks. I bought, I spent two bucks on it. Oh, my gosh. I guess it happens, though. I mean, these look good, but these are from the UK. So does that matter, right? And then bell. And what I'm thinking too is I've got two beasts and one bell. So maybe I'll put a lot up Beauty and the Beast in one, and then put Beast by himself. And then the Little Mermaid again. This is in the U.S. five bucks, and then an international one, fifteen, whatever. And then oh, I haven't shown you this one yet. So hang on. Anyway, Jeff says, "Hey, what's up? Just woke up. Good morning, Jeff. How's it going? I'm just gonna wobble this table, y'all. Sorry." Um, he says, not educational. I know the game. It's not going to sell for what I thought. Anyway, uh, at Christmas, they should go better. Okay. Yeah. I'll, I'll go ahead and list them. We'll see how they go. Yeah. Hello, Cindy. Hello. Hello. Um, I, and okay. So those were the ones I got at that other garage sale. Then I went to a really sweet garage sale and I think I spent 25 bucks total. Um, one of the items is still in my car because I'm taking it to my sister. And it's a shower chair. She's been wanting a shower chair, but not for a shower because she works with her bees. 
And so she wants something to sit on. So she's not bending over and like really hurting her back a lot. And so I got her a shower chair for $5. Um, so that's one thing I got there. So the rest of the stuff was, I guess, 20 bucks. I'm going to wobble this table again. Apparently, I'm just going to be at it today. Let's see. Hyper Picker says it should still be okay at that price. 15 pounds is good. Okay. Um, oh, did you send it? She says, I finally scored some of those wall hanging mug racks. I've got to get those lists. I think I did list some finally because I had sold out of them. And then I was like, that's it. I'm taking a picture of all the ones I have now and getting them listed again. And I need to make a video about how I ship them because I get that question a lot. How do you ship this? Frankenbox, that's how. Okay, so the rest of the stuff um, from this lady where I got the shower chair for my sister. <laughs> Here we go. So the, the three games were from her. And then I picked up this vase. This was $2. And it's wooden. And it says uh, California Redwoods. So it's a Redwoods vase. I didn't... I didn't look up anything else except for maybe one thing. So there's that. But I figured maybe it'd be okay. Two bucks. I think it's okay. We'll see. So there's that. Um, and yeah, I didn't look up pretty much anything else. But it was all really cheap. So I got this nativity clock. Is it working? It may need a new battery. But anyway, it's got a little clock in there, a little carved out wooden nativity so that might go okay. I mean, I mean, I'll guess, right? The vase, I can't guess on the vase because it's redwood and I don't know if it goes for more than that. So I'm guessing at least $15, if not more. Same thing on this. I'm guessing at least 10 or 15 bucks, maybe, maybe more. But it was this was really cheap. I mean, everything else was really, really cheap. So this was marked two and also marked one. And this one, actually, this ornament is actually worth something. Okay, so this is Hallmark Keepsakes. It's got three little bits in there, a brain, a heart, and the nerve. And this is from The Wizard of Oz. So this one, let me share from eBay. And this is my last screen share. So here, sold listing, May 2nd, 20 bucks, right? 1995. So pretty cool. So that... That will make up for it. So basically, like, because I spent 25 bucks with that lady, this will, if it goes for that much, you know. But that was a sold listing, so maybe it will. Maybe it will. And then I picked up some little vintage eggs. Looks like, now, the, they're supposed to go together unless they're missing their mates. So this is this side. It's like a little paper mache type egg. And then there's this side with the chicks on it. And then the inside has this like red work kind of paper. Gosh, I think those were like a dime or something really cheap. See here, this one goes together. It's got the chicks on this side. But you can see where there's this insert that kind of makes them go together. But I, I went ahead and got the other one as well because, just because, just because. And then I also picked up some coasters. They're the Coca-Cola Santa coasters like so. Let's see. They're, they're in okay shape. Some of them are kind of meh, but they were pretty cheap. So Coca-Cola Santa coasters. I don't know. It was small. <laughs> Smalls. And then what do you think I have in my box? Don't see. Anyway, so I got this Florida Lee box with a bonus band-aid on the back, which I just noticed. Awesome. Where's my sanitizer? <laughs> um, let me open this up without touching that band-aid. We have jewelry, of course. So here we go. Most of the jewelry was like 50 cents. There were some of the pieces that were two bucks. And honestly, I haven't dug in this since I got it. So I, it'll be new for me again. Okay, let's see. Um, this weekend sales were much better than the last weekend, Cindy said. <laughs> I know Melissa, right? Um, so first up, we have this brooch. Isn't this cool? So it's got these like red little rhinestones and then these pearly like cabochons. There's that. And then <laughs> they're saying gross <laughs> to the Band-Aid. Then we've got this amazing ring. Look at that. Is that adjustable? Yeah, it is. Okay, cool. It is adjustable. 
So we've got this amazing, ginormous red ring that I just couldn't leave behind. I just thought it was so awesome. So that was 50 cents, I think, too. There. Very cool. Isn't the brooch cool? And then I haven't checked these out too closely. <laughs> Shelly says so she was hoping for gloves. We've got these musical note earrings. And I thought I saw a mark on them, but maybe I was dreaming. I think they, they may, now they look copper. When I was out there, they looked more goldish. Mm, I'm checking with my magnet. I don't think they're, they're slightly magnetic, so. <laughs> Cindy says that ring looks like you should be able to eat it. Yeah. So little musical note earrings. And then I also got some earrings that look like ship's wheels like that and there is a mark that I thought there was inside the wheel there but maybe I'm just dreaming maybe I was dreaming let me look again okay they kind of look pewter now it was a really bright day so <laughs> hello Jason he says evening from the UK Cherie says 79 watching only 15 thumbs up thumbs up everybody Twin Red Dragons, when I pick up stuff, uh, when I'm on holiday, do I pick up stuff to sell? I do. Um, when I went to Spokane, we, we took, you know, we drew, flew to Spokane and then drove down into like Portland and into Sacramento and California and stuff. I did. I ended up sending home boxes, you know, two boxes of stuff. But it was fun. It was fun to do. Okay, so next up, I got this brooch. Let's see, like so. Isn't that cool? Looks like. What are they, wheat? Maybe? Wheat? Sheaves of wheat? How do you say that? Anywho's. So that was unusual. I kind of liked that. And I don't see a mark on it from the naked eye, maker's mark or anything like that. Very nice. And then these were, this is my kind of price, 15 cents each. There's a little bunny. Isn't it cute? A little skunk. Cute. Can you see him okay in my hand? Look at that little skunk. This is not jewelry. They were just cute little miniatures that I thought were adorable for 15 cents. This one has a mark on the bottom. There we go. Look how cute that little bunny is. And the mark says Fred K. Ceramics. Or it may be rubbed off some. If there's more letters. There we go. Do I have an antique? booth no not anymore I used to but it wasn't I wasn't good at it <laughs> and then there's also a little frog so these were 15 cents a piece who could say no they were so adorable and then what else we got we got a brooch it is missing some stones but I think she said well two of them are in the bottom that won't do me much good so that might go um, into a lot then we found an awesome necklace for my sister. <laughs> well, the boys actually found it on the table. I do believe these glow in the dark. And then here, <laughs> it says buzz, and there's a little bee. You see that? On this necklace. So, like that. Isn't that cute? And I bet you anything that glows in the dark. So we're going <laughs> to take that to her. That's a cute little bee-like charm, I think. Buzz, buzz right it has a mark on it i can't really read it though some kind of little maker's mark so that's cool for her let's see hi anna <laughs> aren't the miniature animals cute they are hello amelia oh wait hi ouch okay let's see judy says i have some musical note earrings that i listed a while back cool 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 okay and then i also got this brooch which is really pretty not missing any stones so it's round, and it's got lots of bling, and then it's got two big blings. Very cool. And I don't, again, I always look for maker's marks just to see. Don't see any maker's marks on there for costume jewelry. There. And also a, another butterfly. Like that. And it does have a mark on the back. So this butterfly brooch says sterling and there's some other words there i'm gonna look with my loop and then i will tell you what it says here it goes wow we're doing pretty good on time okay so this says no, 
this way? Nope, still upside down. <laughs> How'd that happen? Danecraft. There we go. That's a good brand. Danecraft Sterling. So yeah, that'll do well. Danecraft generally does pretty well. And then there was a single earring. And she's like, you don't want that single earring, do you? And I was like, yeah, I do. I'll take it. Because I was like, I think I see some marks on the side. I didn't have my magnet with me, so I haven't checked. No, never mind. It was a solo earring, and I was, I was taking a chance. I was taking a chance on it being gold, but it's not. It happens, right? Solo earrings get tossed and... Oh, oh, I thought I was done. I'm not <laughs> with that. So there was also a little baggie. I think she charged me a quarter for this baggie. It was so cheap, right? And then she threw in the box with Band-Aid. That's the box, and it says Spalding on it. And it, and it has a golfer. Okay, cool. So let's see. Margaret, a sister over her stings and feeling better. Yeah, she said she was the swelling was coming down. <laughs> so we've got a little enamel Christmas tree necklace or pendant. I think these are interchangeable. So here's this um, two hearts in the back. Uh, something. Where are you, my loop? I'm reading it. I'm attempting to. One more time. Let me try again. 1995. This is not my good eye. Maybe I ought to switch. I don't think. I don't know what that says. Anyway, so there's this pendant, and then there's a turkey, and then we have a a bunny with an egg. And then it came with this chain. So now I've got to decide when I sell it, do I, I'm going <laughs> to, how much do I want for that Band-Aid? For you, cost of shipping <laughs> and sanitization. So I guess I'll, I'll separate them out. I mean, because unless I just, I don't know, because who's going to say, I want a bunch of, yeah, <laughs> holidays of the year necklace all year long, right? I'm going to see if I can see what that says again. <laughs> the turkey. Isn't the turkey cute? I thought they were all really unique looking. I'm trying to see again if I can see what that says. I just really can't. I'm going to have to try again. Maybe I try a different one. One more time. That's upside down. Here we go. 1996. It looks like either a B. B. I can't tell. I can't tell. Right? But aren't they fun? So the little bunny. And then the turkey is really cute, right? The turkey. Okay, so may, I'll probably sell them separately, you know, instead of lotting them up, honestly. And you are slightly magnetic. There we go. And I'm sure I've got gold tone chains aplenty in my, in my stash over there. I'll just point my head that way. Okay, so that's the stuff I got at garage sales, but we did happen to stop at the Goodwill on the way home, of course, because the band-aid's grossing me out. The band-aid. <laughs> Cindy had wrote the turkey, heart, heart, and Richard wrote the band-aid, heart, heart. <laughs> um, Jessica says, so cute. I'd sell them as a lot, but you might get more from them separate. See, I agree. So I think I'll probably do that, find a little chain for each. One. Oh, I did get this at a garage sale too. This was a quarter, right? I think cute. 50 cents? No, I think it was a quarter. And it opens. It's like a little, a little watch, pretty chain necklace. And there we go. Okay, so it did stop at the Goodwill on the way home. And we spent $37 at the Goodwill. And I bought some jewelry. I uh, bought some jewelry, so this was 99 cents, and do you add a cane to a piece like that? I'm not sure what you're asking. I'm not exactly sure. Oh, a chain. Yeah, yeah, I'll, ask, I'll add a chain. So this has got the moon, and then another moon, and then a wolf and the cactus howling at the cactus. It appears to be pewter. I'm pulling the back off to see if I see marks. I don't see any marks, but my... I'm guessing this is pewter, but for 99 cents, I am pretty sure I'll make my money back on that. Again, probably $17.99 is what I'm guessing on there, the coyote, coyotes, wolves, yep, 
And then a buck ninety nine. I got these snowflake earrings, but I am pretty sure they are sterling. I heard the door. Uh oh, is my bed here? So here we go. Let me see. Buck ninety nine for these ones. Is there? Oh, I dropped my loop. Is there a way you? <laughs> It, usually it's that kind of like gray gunmetal. A lot of times it's marked. Not always, but I'm trying to reach it. My loop. I'm kicking it to where I can get to it. Because I'm sort of surrounded by ta little tables. So I have all my stuff around me. Hang on. Hang on. I'm reaching. I'm down getting it. Here we go. Okay, got it. Okay. So let's see. I'm pretty sure I saw a mark on these. Let's look. Yep, they are marked 925. So pewter is also not magnetic. So, yeah, there's a little, mm, I can't, no, there's not. So yeah, there's that. And then I got some horseshoe earrings, and these were also a buck ninety-nine. I guess if you're not quite sure that it's pewter, you could put, you know, that it's silver tone. Mm, I don't know. Okay, so look at these. Horseshoes, earrings, very cool. And it looks like I'm trying to see if it's enamel in there or if it's inlaid like abalone shell. It looks like it's green. Well, I don't know. Because look at the back. You can see the green through the back as well. That's the back. And that's the front. And it's got quite a bit of tarnish on it too. So I'm looking to see if I see a mark. Where'd the thing go? Where, how much were they? They were a buck ninety-nine as well. Huh, that's interesting. I am still looking to see if I see a mark. Because they've got some tarnish on them. I cannot find one, but I'm pretty sure I'm I'm betting I'm gonna find it in a little bit. Those are cool, right? I kinda like those. I might have to keep those. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Pardon me. Buck ninety-nine. And then this is also $1.99. It's a little bear. Let me show you the bear. <coughs> Sorry about this cough. There's something in the air. So this is a little brooch. And oh, Come on, little bear. Does your arm not go that way? His arm doesn't want to go down. Maybe, oh, there it goes. So, but he's articulated. He moves. Look, his little arms move and his legs move. And he's got little green eyes. He's got a pin back. How much was that again? A buck ninety nine. Isn't he cute? Do, 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 do. I'm a cute little bear. Do I sanitize the earrings before I sell them? I wipe them down, but I don't like dip them in alcohol. But when I if I buy something secondhand, I for sure. So I'm hoping whoever buys them from me does. I'm looking for a mark on this because he is just adorable. I mean, who would make a cute little thing like that and then not mark him? That's what I want to know. And he's got this cute little, like, green eyes, right? And there are little stones in there. Are you magnetic? <laughs> he is not magnetic. Huh. Wouldn't that be something? <laughs> I'm wondering if he used to have, like, a, a spot to hang himself from up here, like, for, as a necklace. I'm going to have to go over this guy a little more closely and see if I find a maker's mark on him. But isn't he adorable? Blingy bobblehead bear. I think he's adorable. Yeah. He's got some good weight to him, too. Hang on. I'm going to look him over for a mark real quick. Because who makes... I mean, this is, he seems like he's pretty good quality. But then he doesn't have a maker's mark? That's kind of weird to me. I am looking at your bare bottom. <laughs> I don't really see a mark or anything. Weird. Okay. I just think he's so cute. I think his little nose... Let's see. It looks maybe it's enamel. I was wondering if his nose. Yeah, his nose is like inlaid. Right? Who goes to that kind of trouble? Right? He's got a little inlaid nose. I'm gonna have to go over him a little closer and see if I see a mark on him. Or I'm wondering. No, there is a spot. Look, you can hang a jump ring right through there to hang him on a necklace. I could put him on a jump ring. Could I? Okay. Yeah, I'll go over him. A little bit closer because I don't want to make you sit there and <laughs> watch me go searching uh, this little bear for a maker's mark. Because it's just unusual to me to have something that, you know, if you find something that, that seems like it's pretty good quality, to not have a mark. Unless I'm just, 
I'm a newbie, right? <laughs> okay, and the next up, 99 cents. I got these little earrings. They're painted ceramic and then like um, glazed. It's like the little baby in the, what do you call that? Little Native American baby, Southwest, in his papoose, right? That's what it's called. He's in a little papoose or something, right? There we go. So 99 cents, baby papoose earrings. <laughs> Almost done. Buck 99, we got some kitty Halloween earrings. They're little kitty enamel black cat earrings. Looks like my Mimi. I have a funny story about Mimi. <laughs> it's more about me because Mimi actually doesn't play into the story at all. But it's about my black cat. <laughs> So I yesterday I was walking past my bed and I reach out to pet Mimi who's laying at the foot of my bed and I reach out and pet her and then realize it's not Mimi. <laughs> I had taken, I've been wearing yoga pants and taken them and just like throw them on the, on the bed and they were like in a pile at the foot of the bed and because Mimi's a black cat. And so I, I reached out and was petting, I mean I pet it once and realized but I was walking by and I pet my yoga pants thinking you know, it was my cat. Black cat problems. <laughs> anyway. Oh, anyway. Okay, so then for a buck ninety-nine, that's a buck ninety-nine. I got this little whale brooch. I got it because it was unusual. I've never seen like a little whale brooch like this. Looks like so. Little whale. And he's spouting out of his blowhole. So cool, right? Leslie says, just noticed you're wearing Deathly Hollows earrings. Yes, my boys got these for my for my birthday. Deathly Hollows. Yeah. <laughs> Lynn says, I've done the same thing. And I swear, because she's a black cat, I think she thinks she's invisible. Because there must be times when, when she's doing stuff and we don't see her, you know? Um, <laughs> she's a black cat. <laughs> Cindy says, yeah, probably need to start wearing glasses. Oh, okay. Um, and then, uh, finally, the last thing that I picked up was a jewelry jar for $14.99. They had some other ones, but look, it's not even full. But you know my rule. I have to find something in there that I know I'll make my money back on for me to buy it. So, let me show you why. There's this butterfly here. This butterfly is a brooch and a, pen, um, a pendant. And so I was like, oh, okay, I can get my money back. Or most of it, at least for that. But then there were some other pretty cool looking things in there. Even though it's not full at all by any means. I was like, okay, I think, you know, $14.99. That one will get me, probably get me all my money back. And then there's just, see, this weird thing is pretty cool too. How much time do we have? Five minutes. <laughs> do we open it now? No, 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 I'll save it. I'll save it. Okay, we've done enough. We've done enough damage to my room. Made a big mess. Anyway, so I'm really excited. I'm excited about finding out more about this little bear. Which, may you know me, it may not be anything. But it's really cute. I'm going to look at it one more time. Hang on. I'm going to look at its stem. At the... No, I don't see anything there. Okay, I'll look at it later. Never mind. I won't make you sit through that. Okay, maybe you can sell the jar too. <laughs> Do you know how if I could sell that jar? Just the jar. Just the jar. I'm wondering if there's anything else in there. I'll look at it. I'll look at it later. I'll open it later. <laughs> anyway, okay, okay. All right, so yeah. Um, again, it's Sunday, almost 2 o'clock here. And tomorrow I will be back with the guys and we'll talk merch. So, oh, and I, I may tonight um, do an unboxing, but I won't do it live probably. Nevada said, did you say the limbs move on the bear? Yep, he did. He has moving limbs and the head and everything. Kiki, kiki. And little gold paws, like the tips of his paws are gold. And his ears. Isn't he cute? And then the back of him is like so. He's super cute. Oh, you didn't get to see the whale? Here, I'll show the whale again. Can you see I'm stalling? Because there's work to be done around this house that I don't feel like doing. Here we go. There we go. Okay, um, go over there and hit that thumbs up button, everybody. What do we have? 37 thumbs up. Go over there and hit that thumbs up. And if you have not subscribed, this is your first time here, welcome. You made it through an hour of me talking nonsense. <laughs> and if you would like to hear more of it, hit the subscribe button and uh, hit the little bell so you're notified when I put up a new video or when I go live so you can come chat with people that are here later. The bear may be K. 
J, L, or Joan Rivers. Rivers. Oh, cool. Okay, I'll find out. Thanks so much, everybody. And I'll talk to you guys later. Have a great day. Bye.